All right, guys. So welcome to another video. And in today's video, we're going to find out something very, very interesting, which will be very useful for you if you follow this channel every single day. Because on this channel, we flash a lot of custom ROMs. And before doing that, it is always important that you go ahead and back up all your information. So let's go ahead and find out what are the different ways, what are the ways I back up my data. But before we do all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video and we also have a telegram channel in which i am very active the link is mentioned in the description you can go ahead and check that out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is kalash let's get going all right, so I've been getting this question so many times on my channel since the time I've had the Redmi Note 4 or maybe the Zenfone Max M1 and all the other devices that how do I back up my data? What do I do to make sure I don't lose any files at all? Now, this is a very, very vast question because then there are very, very different types of ROMs and a lot of other variables which you have to consider. For example, when you say you want to back up data, are you on a locked bootloader or an unlocked bootloader? And if you are on a locked bootloader, what data do you want to back up? So mostly we will try to cover up all these questions without making the video very, very long. So the first thing that we will find out is what do you do to back up data if you are on a locked bootloader? Now, as it is obvious from the ROM that I am on, I am on an unlocked bootloader and I don't intend to lock my bootloader anytime soon. But if you are on MIUI, yes, you do have a backup and restore option. But then to restore that, you again need to be on another MIUI ROM. So that for me is not really, really important. So I don't really, really consider that valid. But we are first talking about rootless ways of backing up data on your smartphone. Now remember the tips and tricks that we are going to talk about of backing up your data on your phone in this particular video are very much valid for almost all the Android devices running Android 9 and above. So if you have a look, the first and the most trusted method that I use, you can just go to settings, no matter if you're on FunTouch OS, if you're on Samsung's One UI, or if you're on MIUI, you just need to type backup over here and search. Now in different devices based on the manufacturer, it will come up as a different way, but over here it comes as backup and this is the screen you are looking for. Now, this is Google's way of backing up things to your Google account device. Now, this is Google's way of, you know, backing up all your data to your Google account. And here's what will be backed up. App data will be backed up. SMS text messages will be backed up. Device settings, which include Wi-Fi, brightness, wallpaper, and all that stuff will be backed up. Your call history and contacts will be backed up as well. So these are all the options which will be backed up when you back things up on your Google account. Now, you would ideally tell me that, okay, you are backing up everything, but what about my photos? Well, that is where the Google Photos application comes into the picture. If you find on the internet, there are a lot of ways you can actually get unlimited storage on Google Photos. And to use this particular backup option, you need to have a very, very strong internet connection because even on my 50 Mbps line, it does take like at least 10 minutes to back up all the data. And at the same time, it doesn't really back up things that are there on the internal storage. Now, another thing to consider over here, all the backup options that we're gonna discuss in this particular video, they will always have their positives and negatives. So the first option that we considered was, you know, a universal way of backing up almost everything from your phone. But in this particular method, what I would highly recommend you to do, if you are someone who clicks a lot of pictures and videos using your smartphone, then I would suggest you can, you know, go to the file manager or you can just connect your phone to the computer using a USB cable. And there is this folder called DCIM in which all your camera, your screenshots and everything is stored. Just move it to a, maybe a flash drive or or a computer and uh, if you have a good internet connection you don't really need to worry about the app data of games which are two gigabytes and three gigabytes you can always re-download that but what really is interesting in this google method of backup is you can back up almost everything but 
you can also make sure that your internal storage photos and videos are backed up using the manual transfer method now what won't be backed up in this particular method is your whatsapp because whatsapp is encrypted and i would suggest you go to your whatsapp and back it up from this particular screen onto your google drive so when you do that you won't really have any issues because all your chats will be backed up if you want you can include videos as well but that really depends if you really want to do that or not so any application like whatsapp which doesn't you know allow you to back up you can manually go ahead and do that now that was the first method and the easiest according to me to back up all your data when you want to do a quick rom flash now the second method that we're going to talk about is a app it is a paid application it does need root access so if you're not willing to pay or you don't have root access then it is not going to work for you but i find it one of the most efficient ways to do backup because this application called swift backup is available on the play store all right now as you can see over here it does tell me grant root access and unfortunately i'm not rooted right now but what i would like to mention over here is that this application is very very nice when it comes to backup and restore i paid about two us dollars for it and the reason it is worth is it actually creates a image like a digital image of your entire phone like it will back up all your app data your game data and as always you can manually transfer your photos over using the dcim folder but apart from the pictures and videos because they can be really really huge depending on your use case scenario everything from your call log from your sms messages even whatsapp if you back up the whatsapp data and restore it in another rom there are 99 percent chances that you would not have to re-verify and it would just start from where you left off so as far as a complete backup solution is concerned swift backup is the second option over here so you know once again before we sum up this video you have three options if you are an miui or if you are a regular miui user you can use the backup and restore application which is built into the settings over there if you are someone who's switching between a lot of roms like every single day like me you can definitely go ahead and use google backup and if you want a quick solution wherein you're going to format internal storage remember the term format internal storage or wipe internal storage which i almost always do you know i would highly recommend you to go ahead and download swift backup it is just two dollars and it is useful it is two dollars a year flash magisk and there you go all your data is safe just transfer it to a thumb drive or a computer format your internal data transfer it back and the name of that folder is swift backup you can easily find it in the internal storage and you're good to go so let me know in the comment section how did you find this particular quick tutorial wherein you can easily go ahead and backup and restore almost all the data on your phone before you flash another custom rom if you've liked the video please leave a like until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye uh, you know that i <laughs> you know that i yeah i said you know that i